talk is basically just about expanding your security tool set. Uh, how many of you guys do capture the flag type stuff? Anybody? All right. How many of you want to get into it or would kind of be interested? All right, good. Then maybe this will be beneficial. Okay, a little bit about me. You guys don't care. Anybody know what this is? Yell it out. All right. When I first started playing with security, this is the only thing I knew, only thing I used. If you couldn't exploit it with Metasploit, it was safe. So uh, most things were safe that I came across. Uh, not entirely the case, though. So that's Metasploitable. Uh, it's a free image that you can download. Here's a list of all the services that are in it. I mean, you can, can you guys read that? You have VS FTP 2.3.4. That was actually issued with a backdoor built in, so that's a straight root exploit. Uh, same with the Unreal IRCD, another straight root. A lot of these, they'll get you straight to root, or with very little effort, you can do privilege escalation once you get a shell and jump up to root. And you can also, uh, it's kind of fun to load up like a vanilla Windows Server 2003 or Windows XP. You know, you can play with the 0867. There's a DSERP exploit for uh, Windows 2003 that's kind of fun to play with. And Metasploit is good about post-exploitation. You can do a lot with it. But it gets really old just seeing that over and over, typing the same command, set target, set L host, all of that. So I thought I'd try and break out a little bit. So this is about expanding your tool set once again. So how many of you are familiar with VirtualBox? Okay, so quite a few of you. Uh, anybody use Vulnhub? All right, a couple of you. So with these two things, both are completely free. You can jump in, start doing pen testing, uh, capture the flags. It's, it's a lot of fun for that. Uh, Vulnhub is basically just puzzles for geeks. You string together exploits. Uh, I mean, it, it's just great. Like I've spent hours and hours going through different CTFs on Vulnhub and, you know, Things like this where they have a CTF, like this is a good way to kind of practice up for it, get a little bit of familiarity with it, and then like once you're here, you can actually start getting flags, get your name up on the board. It's always fun to see that. So Vulnhub, most of the ones you can download as an OVA, VMDK, both of those you can import straight into VirtualBox, no problems. ISO, you just have to mount it up uh, into the, the CD drive, essentially, and then boot off of it and install it. Um, I do like that they do, they give you the level of difficulty for each challenge. I stick with the easy to very easy. Um, but they do go up to very hard, and I, I don't even know what the descriptions of those mean. Um, but if you do get stuck, all, almost all of the challenges have walkthroughs. If they've been out for any period of time, sometimes they'll have video walkthroughs. Most of them do have text based walkthroughs. And that's a great way, like, if you're like, all right, Metasploit's not working, you can go and get a hint and find out what tool you should actually be looking at. So VirtualBox, once again, completely free, runs on Mac, Linux, Windows. I don't think they have an Android version, but I wouldn't be surprised. Um, now, this is important. When you're setting up your virtual machines, make sure you set the adapter to host only. You're playing with exploit machines, Kali, Kali, I don't know, they say Kali on Indiana Jones, but um, make sure you set it host only. That way, all of the traffic is just within your computer. None of it leaves, nothing can come in. I actually heard about a capture the flag where everybody was using Kali, and you know the default password is T-O-O-R, and uh, there was one guy that just started SSHing into everybody's box and shutting him down, and he won. Uh, <laughs> now, I ran into this with Ubuntu. I don't remember running into it with Debian or Windows, but when I went to set it host only, you actually had to create a host only network, and that's within the, the preferences for VirtualBox itself. Uh, the host only adapter, that's actually within the individual virtual machine preferences. Anybody here not familiar with Kali or what it is? Good, I didn't want to explain it anyway. Typically, it works better if you can actually see what you're doing within the VM. We'll give it a, oh, there we go, okay. So usually when I start one of these, the first thing I do is discovery, like just trying to see what all is on that host-only network, and I use net discover. For
So net discover uh, dash R, and then you specify the range that you want. And actually, before I do anything, let me get the IP of this system. Oh, okay. All right. So that is my local IP. Go ahead and throw that in leaf pad real quick. Okay. Okay, so that pops up a few addresses there. I already cheated and looked within the other VM, and it's the dot .103, but that's a quick way to get it. So I'll exit out of that, and then give me just a second here. I took notes because I knew I was going to forget everything. So I'm just going to set a variable called target, and we'll set that to the target address. Okay, so now we want to see what all is running on that. So we'll do nmap SV. So that scans the services and then tries to fingerprint the version of the service running. And then we'll do target. Okay, give that a minute to run. There we go. So a few services open here, uh, a few different possibilities. Since I've done this before, I'm not going to waste your time by looking into each of these services. I'm just going to go right for HTTP. Um, are any of you familiar with Nikto, Nikto? I don't know how to say it. Do you know how to pronounce that? You can go either way with Nikto. Or Nikto? Okay, so I'm going to use Nikto to scan that. And this basically just scans an HTTP server, looks for common vulnerabilities. So, dash host. All right. Can you guys read this? Is this too small? A little small, but little small. tell us what we're seeing. All right, it says a WordPress installation was found. So, you know, obviously that's the direction that we're going to go with this. So we'll do WP scan. And then we're going to try and enumerate uh, the users that are on the system if I can spell. Don't! Uh-oh. All right. All right, give me just a second. Don't ever do this. What, what went wrong? Explain it to the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't update the databases on my virtual machine. I should have actually, I, I ran through this demo on another computer. I should have done it on this one. So anyway, that WP scan, you can actually go through, enumerate the users. It'll show you any that are available. And then I actually have a word list. Once you get the username, you can run a dictionary attack with a word list. And when I did that, you would have seen that it showed up that the admin password was ASDF, ASDF. So just imagine that I did that. It would have been very cool. <laughs> so let's see if I can still get to this. Well, I didn't add it, but because of the captive portal, uh, it's giving me an SSL error, and for some reason, Firefox ESR isn't even presenting the certificate for me to make an exception. All right. So 
let's make this a little bigger here so we will log in okay so once you're into a WordPress installation you actually have access you know to all of the different files one of the cool things you can do is start playing with a PHP header file okay so this is a header file now we're gonna jump back to the command line here and open up Metasploit Oh, maybe. There we go. Uh, has everybody used Metasploit or? Yeah, kind of, a little bit. We're going to use an exploit. It's actually a, a web delivery script. And you'll kind of see what it does here. So use exploit. Okay. So in Metasploit, once you tell it which exploit you want to use, you do a show options and it gives you all of this. And basically anything you want to set here, you say set and then that for the most part. So we will go ahead and do set lhost 192. Oh, give me just a second. Okay. So I'm going to set the local host to my IP address, of course. And then I'll do show targets. And say so you have Python, PHP, and PSH. Uh, since we're doing PHP, that's what we're going to set our target for. Okay, show payloads. So basically what this is doing is just showing you all the different payloads that it can send. So whether you're going to have it tunnel back to you or whatever. I, I like to use the uh, reverse TCP. Okay, and then at that point, type exploit, just like in the movies. So it gives me this little tag down here, and that's right here in between the quotation marks that's what we need to throw in our header PHP file there and actually I'm just gonna put it right after this tag okay so now I think if we go here and just reload the WordPress page. So you see it says, Meterpreter session one open. That means we got our tunnel back from that host. So in theory, we should have a shell there. So let's oh. So there's our one session. So I'll do session dash I for interact one. Oh, plural. Okay, so right now we're in a shell basically as www data. So we want to get a little bit further than that. So we'll go ahead and drop into a shell. And this is kind of a bastardized shell. It's not fully interactive. So I'm going to go ahead and run a Python command that should give us a, a more interactive shell. Let's see, I thought I had that on here. Oh yeah. Okay, so that looks a little bit more normal down there. I just feel better with that. <clears throat> 
So if we start looking around in here, we have a bunch of config files, and since I know which one we need to look at, I'll just go ahead and open it. It's the uh, wpconfig.php. We'll see if less works. Uh, database, root, and then root password. So, and it's a capture the flag. We ought to go ahead and at least try that. So, su, and it was root password. Oh, yeah, I just got root. So, that's kind of fun. Now, it is a capture the flag. On most boot to root capture the flags, can anybody tell me the first place you look for the flag once you get root? Yeah. So I'll do cd slash root. Oh, look. And there's your flag. So this one is an extremely easy boot to root capture the flag, but just doing this, this is one of the first ones I did. And I went through the walkthrough when I got stuck. I learned about Nikto. WP scan, the reverse PHP. I mean, just an afternoon playing with this and I learned a ton of new tools. So I would highly recommend looking into Vulnhub and uh, you know just start playing around with it. It's free. Can't really hurt anything it, as long as you do the host only adapter, of course. <laughs> so, huh? Name yeah. <laughs> Anybody have any questions? All right. Oh. So where would you go so you kind of walk through the walkthrough, or you, you did a walkthrough from another guy's walkthrough. Where do you go to try and learn some of the uh, where to start and how to go through that process that you just did? Just go from week on to exploitation. Well, actually, I have a book that I got. I don't even remember what it's called, so this is a terrible plug for it. But it, it's, <laughs> it's uh, I think I just typed in network security on Amazon and picked the one that had the highest reviews. And uh, that showed some of this stuff. but. Even with the walkthroughs, once you go through and start seeing tools you don't recognize, Google it. May I, may I put a plug in? Absolutely. There's a website called the Pentest Execution Standard that was built by a lot of really smart people on all the various steps you can try and go through. Okay. So if you're looking for, I'm stuck on something on Bonehub and I don't want to read the walkthrough right. yet, try things from there. Pen test. Pen test execution standard. Pen test execution standard. All right, I'll check that one out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or get hugged, one of the two. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's it. That's the one. Yeah, it's, it's on my desk at work. Right, right. Yeah. All right, I'll do that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. If nobody has any more questions, then I'll wrap it up. Just want to say thanks to Beth and everybody that put this on. Thanks to the vendors. And thanks to Jason very much for running time.